Namaste. Welcome. The nada or the subtle sound frequencies or vibrations manifests in various ways. It could be organic coming from the inner body as the energetic system process the kundalini energy it will interact with the various uh, clusters of nerves we hold inside we call the chakras and as the energy pierces through those points then this will produce various sounds but um, there's one type of nada which is not coming from the inner body but comes from the outside but not the external sounds we commonly hear when two objects touch them the this type of nada is coming from the subconscious, really. So examples are, I've heard music, you know, singing, orchestra playing, like the choir singing, and there's orchestra accompanying, and various musical instruments. Now, some people could also hear narratives or voices, instructions, yeah. but the most, or one of the most beautiful um, spiritual nadas I've experienced is the bell that they chime. When two bells touch and the sound they produce. Now, so for today, let me share with you, let me lead you through a short yeah, nada meditation practice using the Tensha bells. And just relax. You may do it sitting or lying down and just watch your breath and let the sound dissolve inside the brain. So listen using your, your mind and not your ears.
Keep watching your breath. You might still be hearing residual sounds inside your brain, like a quiet ringing. And allow your breath yeah, to take over that sound by inspiring abundantly. So the breath becomes the dominant sound you hear now. And then from there, exhale the breath out like the humming breath. Mm. Inhale like the sa. And the mouth hold at the top. Exhale, the ha, and the pause at the bottom. And then from your own vibrations and your attention, your ears outside from our voice, listen to your room, and the external sounds you hear. And can you notice how sharper your sense of hearing has become? And the other senses too, yeah. Generally, yeah, when the brain opens up to absorb you know, a certain element and we just become aware of that particular element, maybe the sound or an image, or even your task if the brain is involved. Yeah. When we get out of that realm or that practice, everything becomes sharper. Good. All right, let's breathe up the arms over our heads. Lightly sway like that. All right, and then just rest your wrist by curling yeah, and bending, yeah, twisting. Yeah, you may move your fingers one at a time and stretch them close to your hands. Yeah. Physically, our hands and our feet hold the most <laughs> number of, I'd say, sensations and the bones. Uh, maybe this. Uh, um, you can stretch the legs like this. Yeah, massage the toes like, like that. Yeah. Even if you're lying down, for example, you're doing this lying down after your practice yeah, of your meditation. Yeah, bend the elbows and then do those wrist stretching and the legs. Uh, good. And push and pull. Like that. Beautiful. All right. And appreciating again. Yeah. And let's allow our vibrations to become humming and sound. Yeah, because this is the most powerful, our own vibration. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Namaste. Take care.